Good morning, this is Lisa with Power Wash Store Central PA. Uh, we are getting ready to hand this trailer over to its new owner today. So I just want to give you a little walk around of the, um, of the trailer, what we have going on inside here. Um, on the back side here, we can see our eight gallon a minute pressure washer underneath the table there. That's a Udar pump gear drive with a Honda GX690. To the left of that then is going to be our air compressor, which will uh, run our air diaphragm setup. And with that air compressor system, we do have the Tsunami there, which is that purple cylinder hanging on the side of the table. And then that is connected to the Yamada pump, which is setting up there on the table. Um, for the fuel tank for the 8-gallon minute machine, you have this 11-gallon remote fuel tank over here on the left. And then the air compressor has its own onboard um, fuel tank as well. Both these engines are electric start. Just some of the little things that we did here on the build. We have down here is the um, air drain to empty these dual tanks. Uh, you'll want to do that after every, you know, after every job, empty the air out of those cylinders. So we put that bowl valve on there just to make that easy to do. Um, here we have our drain tube for our pressure washing, the 200-gallon the tank, I'm sorry, um, just to quickly drain that out of this ball valve. Back here, this small red line that's going um, down through the bulkhead fitting, that is just a bleach vent line. We have, back in the back of the trailer there, you can see the red line. That's just our bleach uh, tank, and we're venting that, so we're dumping that down here on the underside of the trailer. And then behind that is our exhaust line, uh, which is wrapped in heat tape as well. Up on top of the table here then, we have our proportioning system. Uh, beside that is the flush valve that works with that proportioning system, which will allow you to flush that out after every use easily. Back here we have a 200 gallon tank. Um, for water. The 55 gallon tank is going to be for bleach and then on the back side of the 200 gallon tank is where we have our soap tank. There's a 7 gallon soap tank back there in addition to a 16 gallon tank for winterizing and I'll show you that whenever I walk over to the side of the trailer and then our hose reels are back there as well. And just a couple little things about this trailer. This is a 7x14 trailer. Um, it's a dual axle it's really nice because it has, uh, there's no pop rivets, uh, or no rivets, I should say, on the side of the trailer. So if you're planning on wrapping this, it's gonna be a nice smooth wrap, which is a nice feature. In addition here, back on this, uh, on the ramp door here, there's only a wire on one side. A lot of times these trailers have both wires on both sides, so you actually have to go around to the back of the trailer to get in there. Um, that's not the case with this trailer. So just a couple little features about the trailer itself. And then up front here we have our um, electric hose reels. There's three 18 inch hose reels. Top hose is going to be your three quarter hose for garden feed. The middle is five eighths hose for your proportioning system with air diaphragm. And then on the bottom here we have our three eighths uh, gray non-marking high pressure hose. Back behind, we just have a little toolbox here just to store some you know, little pieces and parts that you have done, extra things. Uh, here is that soap tank I was telling you about along with the winterization kit. Winterization kit, your lines are just going to run down here. And then over on the other side of the tank there is a walkway so you can easily access everything. Um, like I said, this trailer is already spoken for, but we can certainly, you know, build another one identically like this or, you know, with some modifications, whatever we'd like. Um, just give us a call. Oh, one more thing I wanted to point out here um, before we go on the hose reels. You see these uh, this clear poly braid hose here. That's actually going to be for our filling um, for your bleach. So it has a banjo coupler on there. There's a plug in it right now. But what that'll do, you'll just be able to hook up to your 12 volt pump to pump out of your bleach source in your shop and fill your bleach tank without having to take the lid off and dump stuff into the top of that tank. And then there's two lines there. The second one is just going to be for rinsing to rinse that line out as well when you're done. Um, okay, so if you are interested in having a custom built trailer put together, something like this or something similar with some modifications, uh, Power Wash Store Central PA is a, a good place to start your research. Uh, give me a call. We can discuss all the details. 717-378-2276. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.